a besieged city under shelling. What can be worse? This is the situation now in Mariupol. This theater was a shelter for many, but it was bombed. After the incident, civilians are said to be emerging alive from the ruins. But for every hardship, there is a hero. Here, this doctor in Mariupol, despite the difficulties, tries to save those who may have survived after the bombing. Because all the other hospitals were bombed and none could collect them. There's no emergency services. There's nobody. Relatives, I don't know where we will put them, how we will bury them. In a mass grave, I have no idea. The District 17 hospital does not accept them. Emergency does not take them. We're the only location that takes injured people in. There is no other place. Mariupol has been under blockade for 16 days, and its residents have nowhere to hide, except in shelters and even basements, which are now home for newborn babies. It is a city, residential buildings. SOS help Mariupol. Children, women are being killed. Hospitals are overcrowded. We're all here for what? I don't understand. Genocide? Speaking at a weekly briefing in Moscow, Russian Foreign Ministry spokesperson Maria Zakharova denied Kiev accusation regarding Russia's involvement in the shelling of Mariupol theater. Of course, the Kiev regime immediately tried to lay the blame for everything that happened in Mariupol, in particular for blowing up the drama theater building on the Russian military who, in their opinion, allegedly dropped an aerial bomb on the theater building. Of course, this is a lie. The port city is encircled by Russian forces. A statement from the city council said that about 30,000 residents had managed to escape so far, but more than 350,000 remained stuck there.